All right, I got something interesting for you guys this week. We're going to use a large body of text and blend it with a shape. And the shape I have here is this, this silhouette of this woman right here. What I want to do is have basically a completely complete field of text covering the entire image. And I want the text to be black over the white area and white over the black area. And as it blends over, it should blend in nicely. Now, that sounds a lot easier said than done. And there's probably a dozen different ways to do it, but I found this way pretty easy and it keeps the text editable and the shapes and it all keeps everything on their own separate layers. So first we need all the copy we're gonna use. And you can certainly use any copy you want. You can type out a, a paragraph of stuff, just some random words. For the sake of time, I'm going to use this site right here, this Lorem Ipsum. It's a text generator, it just does fill in text and you can generate a number of paragraphs. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and do five paragraphs. So let's do generate Lorem Ipsum. And as you can see, it goes ahead and it generates just some random copy that we're going to copy and paste to our document. Now, five paragraphs probably was a little more than I needed, but better to have more than you need than not enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and just highlight this text and go under edit, go to copy. And I'll copy it to the clipboard and let's go ahead and minimize that. Back into our document. I'm gonna grab the text tool and I'm just gonna draw a text box the entire size of the document. And once I'm inside that, I'm gonna press Command or Control V and it will paste that text right inside there, as you can see right there. But now we gotta modify it a little bit. I'm gonna double click that layer to highlight all the text and I'm gonna press the Shift and the Command key. This will be Shift Control and then the less than key or the comma key will make the text a little bit smaller, as you can see right there. I don't wanna make it too small. Let's go about right there. Then I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna take the paragraphs out. I'm just going to put my cursor right here next to this C and just hit delete until it goes in and it fills all those lines in. Let's do the same right here. Get that in the bottom there. And we'll just center that in there. So we've got our big field of text here right on our document. So it's looking right against the background here. It's black against the white, but it's not, we can't see what's going on over the person here. So here's what I'm gonna do real quick. Just gonna take that shape and put it above the text layer. Gonna lock the transparency. I'm just gonna fill it with white by pressing Command Delete. It will be Control Backspace, which will, in, with white set as my background color, it'll fill it in there. Now, all I need to do, this is so simple, this is really cool, is simply change the blend mode of this layer from normal to difference. Boom, there it is. Now, everywhere there's text over the white, it is black, and everywhere there's black, the text is white. And it does it, blends it nicely even when it's going through the letters. And notice it's all on its same layer. What it did was is it's using that difference blend mode. It's looking at this white shape and then looking at the stuff beneath it and saying, okay, we're gonna make we're gonna fill this with the opposite. So if it's filled with white and it's against a white background, it's gonna flip it. It's gonna make it black, just like you see you see here. So now that text is blending in there just like we want it to. Just as easy as that. Now let's go in here and add a couple of more design things to finish this off. I'm gonna pop a layer mask on that text layer and using the gradient tool with the foreground to transparent gradient, I'm just gonna go in here on that layer mask and just randomly pop in some areas to fade the text in. I wanna especially kind of white out this area here because I'm gonna drop a title there. Maybe we'll get a little part up here. That is, it increases the aesthetic of it just to make it a little bit more design. I wanna do one more thing here. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna turn this into a smart object. I'm just gonna go into the flyout menu here and go to convert to smart object. And here's what I want to do. I'm gonna press command or control T and I'm gonna control or right click on it and go here and select warp. And I'm gonna grab this upper corner here and just give this kind of like a page curl effect. Just like this. Grab that handle here, we'll push that out. We'll push this one out here. I did this, it reminds me of the Da Vinci Code. If you saw the cover art for the Da Vinci Code, you can see it was just some text that was kind of pulled over like that. It sounds like a page flip effect there. But look at that, it's pretty cool. But now all I need to do is drop in another title. I'm just gonna go in here. Now, drop in a new text layer at the very top. I'm just gonna type the word type. Let's just give it a title. And we'll scale it up and fit it right in there in that open space. So we've got a pretty cool design. And again, everything is on its own layer. That shape is on its own layer, but yet it blends with that text beautifully. So it's all readable throughout. And that's pretty much it. Going in there, 
making text, making a cool design out of the text. Now I wanted to throw one more point in here. If you're inside that text layer, let's assume we didn't make this a smart object. We just had this text right here. I forgot this text layer. There, all that text is right there. If you wanted to make another text layer on top of this one, now if I go and grab my text tool and go inside this document and I just click, it's going to go ahead and drop the cursor in that existing text. It's not, it's not creating a new text layer like I want it to. So how do you do that? How do you get around that? If I've got the text filling the entire document, it pretty much makes it impossible. No matter where I click, it's going to pop the cursor in that text. Here's what you do. All you need to do is with that text, layer, text object selected or the text tool selected, hold down your shift key and then click inside the document. And that will pop in a new text layer and you're able to type your new text right on top of that one. It doesn't drop the cursor into your existing text layer. It'll create and create a new one. So just add that shift key and you'll get a new text layer. So that's a little tidbit there. We'll close that smart object. And there we have very cool, simple design using text.